are here in the Eggert Spiel booth talking to Peter Eggert, and we're going to find out about some of the new exciting games that Eggert Spiel has out for Essen 2011. How are you doing this morning, Peter? Yeah, I feel very well because yesterday was a great day. We have many good uh, appointments and many companies from other countries and interested in our games. And Excellent. So, what's, what's the first game that we're going to take a peek at this morning? Uh, this is Santiago de Cuba. Excellent. As it was the first time that I go to a um, game designer and say, can you uh, develop a game for me? And it was Michael Renick because uh -huh. he lived close to me <laughs> and we have a big su success with Cuba. Absolutely. And I asked him, can you de develop a game for me that feels like Cuba but has the playtime, the price, complexity like Speicherstadt? Uh -huh. And so I will give them a try and <laughs> two months later he sent me the first prototype and I said, great, we will publish it in Essen. Wow, that's great. And so we work uh, all the same, uh, we work this time also with Michael Menzel uh -huh. because they know each other very well and so we can work very, very uh, fast. Excellent. I thought this might look like some of Michael's work because it's pretty gorgeous stuff. Yeah, <laughs> people like it, I like it. Uh, he enjoys also always when he uh, can work on a Cuba theme. Oh, absolutely. And the Cuba franchise is obviously you had the original game, the expansion, and now you got the spin off. So it's a pretty, pretty big, solid franchise for you guys. Yes. <laughs> so, so what's the theme of Santiago? Yes, the theme is the same. Uh, oh, you will win when you make the most victory points. Okay. As usual. But here it's. Um, we play all with this car. Okay. When it's my turn, I can go many steps ahead. The first star is for free. Okay. And when I say, oh, I want to skip two, I have to pay two coins. Aha. Uh -huh. So if I have enough money, or I spend enough money, I can go to which buying in where I want to. Okay. Because I get an advantage always when I arrive here. I can get one cube of my choice. Or I get two orange, two green cubes. Perfect. Maria, you get two victory, victory points. points, you get money. Here you get from each other player one coin, one money, or one cube, uh, one victory point. Gotcha. Get two white, two uh, wooden pieces, or here you can uh, occupy one of the buildings and say, okay, this is my building. <laughs> okay. And you go around and around. And when you arrive, this star uh -huh. you can deliver, or when I, because there is a demand, there are ships into the. Got you. Oh, the dice are your ships. Okay. Yeah. And I roll the dice, put them there, and when I arrive, I'm the first who can deliver these goods. And usually I get two victory points gotcha. for each good. And when I deliver one orange cube, the demand go down. Goes down. Excellent. And then in clockwise order we can deliver, but only uh, one one kind of goods. Okay. So maybe he delivers the, the red, uh, he delivers the other, and then I can deliver to black, and then it's finished, and the ship go one step ahead. And you start and a new turn. When, uh, yeah, we re-roll the dice, and uh -huh. we have a new demand. Uh -huh. and I have to decide which kind of dice we want for the next Excellent. Now is the car, does he get reset for every player's turn or just at the end of the turn? Does he start back here again then? After? No, no. Oh, okay. Uh, when I was here and the next player, he can decide, uh, I will go up to you. Gotcha. Okay. And the trick on the game is that it was pretty easy, but when you go to Conchita and get two orange cubes, you also go with your meeple, maybe to the uh, black market. Uh-huh. Because you have a red, um, a red rose, you have to go to one of these buildings. Gotcha. And you can use them. You can make the white, the sugar cane, to rum, or you can deliver one rum and one sugar excellent. for victory points. Or you go to the bank, you get money. Money, excellent. And if I go to to the bank, mm -hmm. I can do it. I get the two money, but the red player get one victory point because it's his. Uh, building. Gotcha. Now, are are all of the uh, tiles on the board are those placed in the same places every time? No. Or is it just randomly put it's out? It's also very Excellent. tricky because when 
the order is here different. The feeling is different. Absol absolutely. And also connected house and pe people are different. And so every game is very different. Absolutely. Well, that looks very cool. And you play seven ships and you play around about 45 minutes. Excellent. Well, that game looks really fun. I know that you've got a couple other games here at the show. You've got uh, The Village, and then you actually have, not here at the show, but a game that's done really well for you guys is uh, Dice Spikerstock, and you've got yep. maybe an expansion in the works for that guy? Yep. We just uh, reprint Speicherstadt because it was sold out. Cool. And we find here a new partner for Speicherstadt also good, and we uh, tested uh, expansion very often. And now it's finished, and <laughs> we will uh, produce them at the end of middle of end of November. Excellent. We're looking. We're really looking forward to that. Are, are there any other new games you can kind of tease us about that you might have coming out after November or next year? Or? Uh, next year in Nuremberg, we will also publish two new games. Oh, great. Uh, one. It's the first time that we published a game from Rainer Knizia. Excellent. And the other game will be from Stefan Dora and Ralf Zerlinde. Cool. We have a good success with Pergamon. Absolutely. And they make this Pergamon and the graphic was made by Clemens Franz. And so we will, the new game Milestones, also do with this team. Oh, okay. That sounds great. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Well, Peter, we appreciate you taking time out of what I know is a busy schedule here at Essen yeah. um, to show us this game and kind of talk about what's coming up. So we wish you the best at the rest of the show, and thank you very much. Okay, thank you. It was a pleasure for me.